What the Magic Wand tool does is select a range of colors. At the top of this image I have two boxes. One is solid red and another has a radial gradient in it. If I get the magic wand and click anywhere in the red box, the entire area of red is selected. If I do that in the box with the gradient, only similar colors are selected. So in this case, just the center of the reddish pink area is selected. If I click and drag with the magic wand, the colors it selects will increase. So I'll select the light green circle. As I drag, the tolerance increases. If I continue to increase the tolerance, eventually all the colors will be selected. For this though, between 20 and 25 percent will do the trick. Hit delete and the selected area is gone. Notice though that when I delete a selection, it does so with a hard edge. I'll undo deleting the selection by typing Command Z. I can then soften the selection by going into the Edit menu, Refine Selection. Here I can smooth the corners of a selection, feather or soften the edge, or adjust the overall size of the selection. For this one, I'll feather it some and expand the size a little. Now when I hit delete, the selected area is removed with a soft edge. A tool in the edit menu that is related to the magic wand is called select color. I'm going to get rid of these boxes and try to select the yellow leaves on the trees in this image with select color. I'll go to edit, select color, and I get two controls, color and radius. As I hover over the image, the cursor becomes a magnifying view that shows me the colors I am over pixel by pixel. These leaves vary from bright yellow to a darker yellow, so I'll choose a color kind of in the middle of those. Now I can use the radius slider to choose how much of the image gets selected. As I drag, a black and white preview is shown. The white areas are what will be selected. So now all those yellows are selected. Usually what I do next is move the selection to its own layer so I can work with it independently. To do that, I'll right click on the selection and choose copy and paste as layer. Now I can deselect by typing command D and turn off the background layer to see the exact selection. I can tweak the yellow in my selection or maybe desaturate the entire background layer so the yellow selection is really accented. If I had wanted to only select a couple areas of the yellow leaves, I could have done that with the magic wand. Click and drag over one area, then hold down the shift key and click and drag over another. This allows you to select separate areas of the same color in an image, or multiple areas of different colors. 